Hi everyone, welcome again to my entropy session. I'm going to accept different bliss time controls. So don't hesitate to challenge me. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. I think I played this uh, this guy in my previous Benchable session also. Or is pretty well known theory. I recently played this against Yarf. Quit before. So it's just been ninety six. Bishop uh, B3, I have some like, G4 ideas. Takes I take. So, pawn on C4 is hanging. Queen D3. Can play A5, B5, Knight D7. Can also play Knight G4. So, let's play Knight G4. This idea of Knight D5. And also tactics along the g7 a1 diagonal with queen of six coming. This f4. <clears throat> queen of six. This idea of queen d4. I think it's already. Very dangerous for him because I I didn't I don't see any defense here. Yeah, twenty four is big threat. So you can play e five, d knight e four, but then I'm just gonna play queen e seven, keeping the. Keep his initiative, C5 D. Ready four. So let's play P7. Should be two. I can just take on B4. I see, yeah, just take and then take on C4. Yeah, he's just wandering bishop. So, yeah. Queen F2, Queen C5. Again. That's 24. Oh, I just accept five minutes. Okay. It's French. Play three. Answers. Kind of 
very interesting decision to close the position with C4. So, well, let's play G3. The idea of just playing H4 to restrict the knight on G6. H4. He goes for castles, which is A little bit strange because I'm just gonna push my pawn and open his king king's position. It goes knight g6. Play rook e1. Can also play b3. Let's play b3. Plus F6. Just take, take, and if he takes with bishop, I'm going to play knight c5. If he takes with rook, I want to play bishop g5, but now I, I think his option of rook takes F3. F3, bishop e7, rook c3. No, this is not clear. So, can put g3. This idea of going knight e5. This queen c7. Hmm. Can just open up the position with c4, but So let's, let's just open C4. F8. Then I D2. Five should be three. If we page five, then have some options there. This will get seven. Can, can play my g5. My g5 should be five. Bishop g5, my d4, queen h5. Probably interesting, but yeah, I have to place. I have to speed up because I'm behind on time. Take bishop. Then my idea is to so you want to play bishop c six. <clears throat> So what should I play? Should be two. Should c six. Rook h one. King g eight. Bishop h six. Rook d eight. Okay. 
Yeah, it's too too sharp position. No page five. I have to speed up. Oops, you want. Crazy two, control gauge one. King of one. Play queen B one. He's playing great chess. Oh, I play here. Page four. Yeah, I have. I'm far behind on time. Yeah, it's a lot that want to Yeah, I try to be strong. Okay, silly. Yeah, he played a very good, great game. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, I should have played uh, faster. I spent too much time. So, well played. Play P5. Rook C8. Rook E1. Um, my idea was to play Rook C4, so it's not. Rook E1 is not. <clears throat> Uh, 
20, so I'm just developing my bishop. And next, I'm going to play knight e7. I played a3, but there I think you had some you had some uh, tactics with b3. And if I go with my rook, then you can just take on b5. I missed that. So, but now in my position, it looks really interesting because I'm just going to castle and play knight g6. Bishop g5. First, I'm going to take c3. Second, I can play f6. <clears throat> I also just play bishop c6, queen d6, f6. Let's play bishop c6. Queen d6, probably. So f6, queen e5. But now I can take on g2. Give check on a8 and move my knight to d5. Controlling the uh, whole center with my knight, and also you had Eric C pawns. Now I play knight d5, rook c8. of c8 so he's giving up yeah. okay i think he just blundered but okay whatever good game um, let's play i also played this this guy from previous um, bench blitz Take bishop g5, three, in theory. D7, it's two. Bishop h4, castles, or knight h5, of course. Knight f3, knight b6, like supposed to go knight f6, maybe a little bit unprecise, but it's, it is a no, of course. Should d7. King d1, Castles, knight a4, King d8, c1, of course, just bring the rook. So, uh, Bring the rook to a3 via uh, c3, but now he gi he gives me an option of rook takes c6 or even queen takes c6 also. But uh, rook takes c6 he has queen e8, right? Queen e8, so rook e rook c1.
Yeah, let's just play it. Six. Because after queen takes c6, he may have uh, knight g4 options. It's knight d7 here. I feel like I have some decisive move here, like rook takes c8. If king takes c8, then bishop f5, or even queen, eight, queen takes a7, also looks just crushing. Well, queen a7, knight e5, bishop f5, king c7, d. Yeah, let's suppose we take this bishop f5. Probably king b8. 97, king e8, rook c1, g6, mm. take, some spade, just 95. Hmm. Be three. 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 Right, blunders. But yeah, good game. But I have to play faster because uh, I'm most most of time I'm down on time so six P7, P7. This queen G4. Kept queen of six. Probably. Three and G7. Just castles and play B5. Or even maybe h5 is possible here. Just create with this. So h3. I'm giving my pawn to six. I want to just play h3. So here I just take and just play g5. Put my knight on g6. My uh, c6 knight to e5 and control this um, dark square, dark squares, and I want to isolate his f3 pawn. E5. Place f4, which is reasonable. Here, let's take. Just five. Take, take five. Play C7, Bishop B7. And yeah, this, this should be winning. Yeah, 
Yeah, here it's important to not to blunder 96 after king f8. So let's play, keep with d5 here. Knight f3, d, knight e5, ed, king g1. Yeah, this looks very messy. But after d5, knight f3, I have king f8. So let's play d5. So let's just take. Pair of D8. Should be seven, rook seven. C3, top. Hmm. So just take. D6, F6, and F6 probably, and to manage just G6. Am I just blundered? King D7, D6, the King D7. By rook d7, if 96 I have rook d1, king at rook d2. But this is not apparent because you can take anyway. Check. King f6. Give check. So e2, page 58, 5, 5, 5. So here it's going also about time. So Yeah, good game. So let's just start. How's it going? So his opponent is not. Line, I guess. So let's get a board. Yeah. And accept the result. Okay, well known theory, of course. Six. C. 
or just play somewhere at five. So let's play bishop to five. Yeah, I should have played immediately bishop to five because Just occupy the light squares on c4 and d5 uh, with my knight manure, knight d5, knight c4. Knight e5, knight c4, knight e5, if you can play. So Let's look for another move from the other candidates. Can I play here? Play queen e8. Yeah, yeah let's play e8, just prophylactic move. And then just go queen d5. Bishop g7, king g7, can play rook e5. Then I'm gonna play probably queen c4. Just not giving, not giving the control of the light squares. So I play c4. Is he relying on some tactics there? But I don't see any tactics. And c4, rook c4, it just uh, doesn't work because either way I, I can take on c4 with queen or queen b5. So let's just take. Yeah, there's no tactics. Knight e5, knight e5, rook c8, knight c3. Come on, probably just winning. A5, play rook A6. Sound B4. B4. Okay. So let's play especially when we do set up. It's very Principles set up against this structure. White goes bishop b3, queen d2, long castles. Just wants to attack on the king side. Long castles. Okay, you probably should play b5 here. Three. 
So my next plan is to just go bishop h6, h4, g4, and h5. Just attack on the king side. B4, knight D2, then King B1, knight C1, knight B3. If it goes Queen A5, then King B1, of course. This E5. And let's play knight H3. Just go knight g5. Press a5. If I play knight g5, then you have some knight g8. So let's put king d1 and prepare as knight g5. Seven is reasonable. So C one. Preparing bishop C four. So I assume he should play knight B six, but there, there I can just take D D and play the queen G seven. G7, G8, yeah, maybe it's not, not so dangerous because so he first takes and also take knight e5. Knight e5, so I can just take on b4. Let's just take free pawn. Can put a three. I think you should have played a three first to just open up my king's position. Here, just should be five. Should be seven, should be seven. Ninety seven. Be seven, of course. Because we're at six. And there I have some um, open lines. I'm just pinning him from everywhere. So please go b8. Yeah, here have for sure something. So just take play knight d3. Knight d7, of course. Then I can take knight e5, knight e5, f4, gf, queen f4. Rook f8, probably. Mm. Yeah, here I can take on e4. Additional free pawn. I'll just exchange the queens. Mm 
Yeah, this must be an of twin. Just push the bones. Okay, well played. Let's accept this. It's okay. Eleven six. PC three. Come to just eleven six probably. Six. Take and play night. Night before. Takes the bishop on C two. And it should be some C eight and B six. Page six is page four, and then I have options on with knight h five, knight d five, g five. Yeah, but G4 is very bad move, I see. takes one. G4. Okay, and G1. Let's play knight. Let's play knight G5. I'm just giving one pawn back, but Instead, I'm getting this strongish pawn h4. Let's play h3, h5. D5, knight D4. Next case, queen B6. Yeah, here I can play knight C2 or knight F5, but I like more knight F5. Yes. 
just take that one. C4. Good game. Oh, G5. I think it should be five. <clears throat> Thread is just C6 and D4. This bishop plays seven. Now I can play a nice c4. Nice c4, knight d7, probably knight d3. Transfer knight d3 and controlling the f5 square. Please, take the h5. But now he gives me the <coughs> option of bridging the center. Okay. <coughs> so, the idea of this provoking bishop g5, bishop h4, bishop h3 is generally to create a weakness on the black's king side and to exploit it later on. Like here, white has strong center. Knight is controlling the f5 square. Yes, yeah, so object objectively speaking, I think white's position is more or less um, winning. Yeah, but it requires some technique, of course. Let's exchange the bishops. I assume he will, he, he will reject it with playing with him, uh, but he takes a king. Uh, a3, a4. Let's play rook d1. At h2. Transferring his knight to f5.
it's a disaster for black and his bishop is doing not so much and my knight is going to, to place on f5 and put pressure on black's camp three at five and uh, positions this is what white is aiming for yeah here i can take a queen um queen or exchange after my d6 but i am looking for um, I'm looking for more. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just take and play queen d2. Threatening boss hook one and queen b4. Yeah, I could I could have just take, taken the pawn on a4. Which is it's just a free pawn and yeah. Yeah, this one this also looks just like d5. Take D6, mm. D7, and this is more or less troops one for him. D5, you can just grab the pawn here first. Yeah, I did six. So what's the precise way to finish this game? Just go here. Just go B3. Because it just six one, so I can just play G three, Queen six. I can do whatever I want. Queen six. Play this. The queen c4. <clears throat> b5. c6. b4. Eight. Is there some steel meat? I don't think so. So yeah, good game. This. Okay. 
this basic King's Indian setup. I can play my d5, I will just take and play with c8. And here I'm just, I'm just gonna hold center and start attacking on the king side. And this is typical knight maneuver, knight h7 and g5. And just sacrifice on h3. Yeah, this this generally this sacrifice on h3 if central center is closed um, works out here i can just transfer my knight to f3 with my h7 with my knight h7 knight d5 and g5 Yeah, he plays a four. He takes pawn. Queen G four. A C six protects the D five pawn. Screech F2, G5. H3, and maybe Knight E4. Next, if Knight E4, oh, so I want to say I, I want to take this pawn, but. I just saw the rook g4, but there I have bishop at six. My queen feels very, very shaky there. So Let's take with the rook. Let's queen of one. Let's take. Rook B3. Yeah, position <clears throat> I just lost. Yeah. Good game. So let's accept this. Oh yeah, this is also 
I will now load the system. So we just go gives gives up a pawn but gets very quick development. I need to go before. Before should be six, should be seven, should be two. Let's see two. Yeah. Now feels white has also very good development and just up a full palm. So I think like black went wrong somewhere early on. Uh, yeah. This looks bad. Queen of eight. Page three. Ninety five. Ninety five. Six. And we're going to play Queen C seven. This one should be eight. Could be seven. Yeah, we should see six. So that's why it looks a little bit wrong. So yeah, I can just play some normal moves, but Uh, let's try this bishop e5 or b5 queen c7. Bishop b8, queen b7, and uh, I'll be up at two pawns. G5. Here I have knight of six at least. Yeah, let's play knight of six. Queen G7, yeah, we should three. I just take the, taken the B7 pawn with my queen protecting G2 square. But yeah, we should three is also enough, I think. So here I have to just take. Just 
cupcakes. We are just repeating the place. Huh, place like my job. Yeah, here. Yeah, play some other moves. Stay fine. A four. So I have to be careful here because he's he has the red here knight takes c6. I have to play queen a5. She wants to exchange the queens. Uh, let's let's see. Can play knight f d seven. But I want to keep the queens on the board. So let's queen b6 and then maybe transfer knight to e5. If you want. b5, probably b4 or probably b3. C1, but yeah, but C1 looks a little bit shaky here because I have some night jumps. Uh, what to do here? Let's play my ED3. If you go through C3, then we're going to B4. So, okay, three. Okay. You can just open up the center with d5. And have to speed up, of course, because uh, I'm down time. Yeah, probably it was probably it was bad um I move, but yeah, if it takes with pawn. So now it's it's okay. Just go okay too. Three, three, H5. Let's play bishop g4. 
exchange the bishops and try to put my knight on e4, pressuring the g3 pawn. Let's take, but there is still no, no mate, but here I, I'm going to exchange or precise read the root. So, yeah, good game. So, we go on. Yeah, this is classic classical Sicilian. It's D5. Let's go E5. And D7. With four. Ninety two. Here, here. Exactly, my point was to decline the exchange of queens and put my knight on d4. D4. Uh, exchange the bishops and the right moment to open the black. King's position with f5. So he goes one castle. So, uh, even here, it, f5 looks very strong. Because my knight on d4 is pushing the e6 pawn. He takes c4. C three F E can't play B three here, can take on E six, but uh, his idea if I if I take on E six uh, is I think is to go to go twenty three, twenty three ninety three. If I play B three. So, check by b3. Not sure what's going on there. So, he can just give a check. Queen a3. So, now I have a king b1. King B8. Just take in six. Because rook C8, I can take on D5. Yeah, 
position, but the position is very, very sharp, of course. Here I have my rook c5. If knight a4, I have very important check, queen e5. Yeah, here also I have queen e5. And just taking his knight on d5. Okay, we need. Uh, he must queen c7. <clears throat> I don't know what is what is the point of queen c7, but maybe he, he wants to play f6. Let's play. I did it here. I'm just sacrificing this pawn. Uh, if he takes FED 95, I'm gonna play knight D4. Or knight takes E5, queen takes E5. Knight F3, and then knight D4. So he's taking this one. Just take queen e5. King f3. He goes queen d6. And his idea is after knight d4 to go bishop g6, keeping this bishop. Makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to play knight d4, bishop g6. Over here, knight f6. Okay, knight f6. Uh, what to do here? Let's put c4. b3. So he calls us. Uh, I'm gonna just take the pawn. Um, this looks very bad for him because I have two bishops. Um, pawn up and his structure is not so well. I can save.
I can just take and uh, take the C5 pawn. Let's just do it. G3. C2, play A4, and yeah, slowly do that. It's just winning because I have bishop plus S pawn. Okay. So <clears throat> That was not not so good primo because yeah. Whatever. Play here. Can't play bishop e three. Let's go a three. G4. No, this makes sense. Let's play rook a2. Just I just want to play b3 and while to d2 and the exchange maybe later with bishop b2. And just take and play B3. Oops, we should five. But we should be two. Press e6. Yeah, but this is, I think, a bit weak in move. And uh, the bishop on f5 feels just a little bit trapped. And he's weakening his d6 pawn. 
Yeah, here. I'm, I'm gonna just take um, the free pawn. Play e4. So let's take an f5 first. Let's see. So he takes with e pawn, giving me. Uh, so he's giving the d5 square for my bishop. So I'm going to just take e5. He takes with. With pawn, I'm going to just push. Push d5. Rook d2. E3 first. D2. Queen b3. Rook queen 2 Yeah, but, but yeah, I, I gave him the queen c3 option, but fortunately I have rook d1. Creating the bishop of seven threat. So he has to go either with his king or his, with his rook. I'm gonna play queen c4. If he takes uh, a three pawn, I'm gonna just push the pawn in here. Also, just completely winning. So let's play one more game, <clears throat> and I feel this 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 game is probably will be uh, last game. So my opponent is. I guess it's not he's not online. Maybe he's online, but he is not in playground. Uh that's that's a board and play one more game. So it was strange. Um, yeah, let's abort this game also. Um, let's play. Finally. Uh, Sixty three. Um, here I have a, I just got very comfortable version of Italian. Not spending a tempo on D3, but just going for immediate D4, thanks to his uh, D6 move.
<clears throat> so let's so let's just sacrifice something. If you take CD, I'm gonna just play E5. He goes for the bishop g6, which is a bit sur surprising. Take on d4. Okay. Let's play to the knight of five. So here, I should have some crushing attack because I'm going to just um, play book e4. Book h4, if knight f5, then bishop d3. So it goes to my g8. Let's play my h2. Trying to bring another piece to the attack. So yeah, this position looks simply bad because it has no defense against this knight. Knight jump. Even after d5, I can just play knight g4. After dc, yeah, here. Of course, I can just take on a six, knight f six, and win the queen. Is there a mate? I think there is mate. Okay, after knight f six, just, must be just mate. So, let's see. Let's play King H1 for his time B. It was <laughs> it was just a butter actually because you could just take Bishop of two. So here is all, it's also not so, not so clear how to win. So I should have probably chosen another, another, another way. Yeah, here. I don't see any but yeah. Just, just go for something stupid, but yeah. F3. Yeah, here. 
his position is just completely winning, but he has no time left. Yeah. Sorry for that, but yeah. That's what, what it is. So, so thank you. <clears throat> thank you for watching. So hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.